What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is function argument unpacking. So a neat little trick that you can do to either further shorten your code or even obfuscate your code uh, is function argument unpacking. Now the reason why I'd consider this obfuscation is purely because a lot of people uh, have never seen or really heard of this, or if they did, they didn't really quite know what was going on when they did. Uh, so it can kind of be useful for that, but also you can knock out you know, lines of your code if you're really looking to condense something. So the idea of it is to literally unpack the variables for a function uh, for the same purpose that we would, you know, unpack variables with NumPy's load text, for example. So it kind of saves a step in a fairly common operation. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So let's say we've got a function and it is called do something and it does something with X and Y. Uh, and what it does is pretty crazy. It's going to print X and print Y. Next. Now let's say we have x and y, but x and y is in the form of a list. So coordinates 1, uh, and it's going to be uh, 2175. So typically, if you wanted to pass you know, 21 as x and 75 as y in the arguments here, the way you would you know, probably do it in one line would be do something, chords 1, 0, comma, chords 1, 1, right? But instead, what you can do is function argument unpacking and use an asterisk, or uh, also referred to as a splat, and say chords1. So now when we save this and we run this, what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and print out 21, 75 as 21 is x, y is 75. Pretty neat. So now, uh, the other thing you can do is use it with dictionaries. So to do it with a dictionary, let's say you've got uh, chords2 equals, and in curly braces, we start our dictionary. Uh, and here we have x, and x equals, let's say, 5 this time, and y equals 6 this time. And now, instead of chords 1, and uh, we'll delete the previous splat, this one actually takes two asterisks, or two splats. And then you would say chords 2, right? So now we're expecting a 5, 6. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And sure enough, we do indeed get a 5, 6. So uh, again, just to reiterate, the reason why we're using two here is because we're unpacking a dictionary. Um, at least in my little head, the way I envision it is, you know, you've got a, it's unpacking this and then this, right? So it's kind of needing to go too deep, so it uses two asterisks. Not sure. Anyway, um, that's that. Now, let's say another thing you could do is something like this, right? So you can use kind of pre-built functions, right? So if you have print range, uh, 2175, for example, let's delete this, and really we can delete all of this. Well, we'll do this. Okay, um, so if we do this, we print that range, you know, that's the range function is just kind of like built in, right? So it prints out a range of 21 and 75. You can do the same thing with the built in function. So you could say print range chords one, like that, splat chords run rather, print, and you indeed get the same printout of the actual range itself. So kind of a neat uh, little known functionality built within Python. Um, again, can be used either to just kind of save uh, either lines of code or even like just how long, how much you know stuff you're stuffing into this uh, function here. So that concludes this tutorial. As always, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, the subscriptions, and until the next video.